What's up, y'all? Josh Todd here. Anyway, a little update on the Todd farm. You know the cat I was talking about earlier and a few other videos about, uh, and I had to put up the fence around the little small garden. Well, I found the cat or cats inside of the chicken coop yesterday. So they're eyeballing my baby birds, almost like Tweety and Sylvester, you know, the, the you know cartoons. <laughs> well, um, I got to figure out a way to uh, keep these cats from getting my birds because uh, I know that here soon in the next like week or two, I need to uh, let them out or at least the bigger ones out of the small coop and get them into the uh, larger fenced in area. Um, but I can't do that if I have cats inside of the actual coop. I'm going to have to outsmart the kitty cat. So what I did is I took all of my tent stakes. You know, luckily I have a lot of camping gear and I took a bunch of tent stakes and I staked down the, the fence all the way around, which I probably should have done in the first place. Um, you know, live and learn. But so I'm on cat watch, meow, and trying to make sure that the cats can't, you know, get in. And that's what I'm waiting on to really, you know, let out some of these birds. Um, some of them are getting big enough that uh, it's time. Um, but it's not safe, so um, got to figure it out. But what I wanted to really tell y'all today is that you know the video where I released my ducks, it was very you know traumatic on me and them. Big pond, big world, you know everything got changed all of a sudden. Um, they came back home, <laughs> you know, almost like you know kids who get you know kicked out or you know booted by the parents, you know, or you. Uh, graduated high school and now all of a sudden you get your own place well sometimes we always come back home well the kids came back home um i guess the uh, big old pond was uh kind of scary to them i don't know but uh the very next morning i found all five of them right outside of the gate here all huddled up like dad what happened you kicked us out you know i don't know what's going on so I let them back in, set their, you know, uh, pull back up. I was really, you know, uh, looking forward to not having to change and clean this, you know, pond, this little uh, pool over here, because that's really the, uh, the pain part. There they are. They're all walking over there. They hear me. So now every time I get close to them, I think that they think that I'm going to scoop them up and uh, take them to that big old pond over there. But, I mean, if they want to hang out at home, I'll let them stay. You know, I'm in the family. Um, so maybe I will revisit ducks in the pond in a week or two, see if they need a little bit more time. Or I'll do it maybe for like a day or two or just have them, you know, have like a little ducky field trip. I don't know. But I thought it was pretty cute that uh, the, the uh, kids came back home. Um, so I also updated my, uh, my bird feeder over here. Got tired of watching all of the squirrels. George, man, uh, uh, you know, Georgia gray squirrels. Let me tell you, I've got a few back here that are fat. I mean, uh, I'm feeding them good. Um, so my aunt, Aunt Rhonda, I appreciate you, um, sent me some pictures and some ideas on a feeding system that would help me out um, as far as keeping away squirrels. Well, the squirrels have still found it, but it's not in like an open trough or a open food dish. So I don't think they're getting as much as they were. It's not like a buffet now. Um, they have to work a little bit harder. Um, it's easier on me because I can fill up the uh, bucket and the cooler. Um, it's got tops on it, it stays fresh doesn't get soaked um i don't have to actually feed them and scoop it every single day i still check it daily but um you know i don't have to you know i don't know it's just one less thing you know which uh i like that so the birds that my uh neighbor's cat are trying to get i've showed y'all you know but they're in here they're still tiny, and as you can see, some of them are getting a uh, bigger size, and it's definitely time to let them out. Um, 
or I mean, I would like to, you know, uh, let them free and uh, roam around and play with the turkeys and the other chickens and actually learn to, you know, scratch and, uh, you know, forage for, for, you know, food instead of, you know, uh, eating the uh, chick food every day. But uh, yeah, so update. Chickens, the uh, ducks came home. It's kind of cute. Um, but yeah, anyway, stay safe, sanitize, like, 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 subscribe, and check you later.